Today I'm throwing a pouring bowl using two and a half pounds of cone 10 clay. Place your clay as close to the center of the tile as possible to start. Excuse me. I'm using both hands with equal pressure moving up the clay to form a cone shape. Then, with my left hand pressing in, I use my right hand, which is on a slight angle, to push down. Your arms must always be braced to some part of your body when centering the clay. At this point, the wheel is at full speed, but only during the centering process, and then it will be slowed down. I'm using my sponge to keep the clay moist. With two fingers on two fingers, I'm pressing down and towards myself to create the base of my bowl. You want to go down to approximately one quarter an inch from the bottom to leave a little room for trimming. You can check your depth with a pin tool. This looks a little deep, so I will be going down a little further. Going back and forth while you were flaring out compresses the molecules and helps prevent S cracks in the bottom of your pot. I also use a rib tool that I had made out of stainless steel to shape the inside of the pouring bowl, once again compressing the molecules with this tool. I'm now ready to make my first pull. I'm pressing my left thumb in at the bottom of the clay. Now with equal pressure on both the inside and the outside, I am pulling the clay up to form my pot. Your pull up should be at the same speed as the wheel is turning. Now I'm going to make a couple more pulls to form my pouring bowl. And as I reach the top of the bowl, I lighten up on my pull to allow the top to be a little thicker.
If your pull tends to be going off a bit, you can use a pin tool to cut off the top and even the bowl out. I'm now making my last pull. Occasionally a bubble can form in the clay when you're throwing and you can get rid of this easily by using your pin tool and making several little picks to break up the bubble and then continue with your pull. You can make the circle of life in the bottom of the bowl if you like by putting pressure on the sponge and moving out quickly as the wheel is turning. We are now ready to make the spout. Using your index and middle finger, straddle the edge of the bowl and work it back and forth. You're starting with your right hand to do this and this thins it out as well as shapes it. And when you're finished with your right hand, you do the same thing with your left hand to even it out. You can cut off any excess clay at the bottom of your bowl by using a wooden carving tool and a pin tool as shown. Your bowl is now complete and you're ready to cut it off the tile with a cutting wire. Now it's time to make the handle. I measure out a six inch extruded piece of clay that I will be attaching. As usual, a little scoring on both the handle and the pot is used, followed by some slip. Make a double indentation on both ends by pressing firmly with my thumb and complete the process by smoothing it out with my sponge. 